So let's take a look at Terraform Cloud features and pricing. So I just want to quickly go through it here. So we have three models. We have the open source software, so OSS. We have the cloud offerings and the self-hosted offerings. And under these tiers, we have free, teams and governance. Technically, it's teams and then teams and governance. So they're two separate plans, but this is the way they display it uh, in their marketing content, but it really is a separate, two separate tiers in there. You have business and then enterprise, which is considered self-hosted. So in terms of feature set, across the board, you have IAC, workspaces, uh, variables, runs, resource graphs, providers, modules, the public model registry, which is Terraform registry. Workspaces is a bit odd because there are Terraform cloud workspaces, right? And then you have local workspaces. So technically those should be broken up into two separate things um, or named differently, but that's just how it is with Terraform. So, you know, just asterisk on that workspaces there. For the free tier, you get remote state, or sorry, for everything uh, outside of the open source, you get remote state, VS, uh, VSC connection. So that's version control state connection. So connecting to GitHub or, or GitLab or whatever, workspace management, secure variable storage, remote runs, private module registry. Uh, once we get into cloud, we get team management, Sentinel policy as code management, cost estimation. The reason why I have that in red is because on the exam, it could ask you, when is Sentinel policy available? Is it available at what level? And the, and the thing is, it goes from teams and governments all the way to the enterprise level. Now, technically, there is, again, um, one called teams, and there's teams and governance. So it's part of teams and governance, not part of teams, okay? Uh, once we get into business, this is where we start to get single sign-on and audit logging. So, you know, if you need it in the cloud or if you need it uh, self-hosted, both options are available. Uh, in the business, we have the you can have the self-hosted agents. For configuration designer service now integration, you have it for those uh, as well. Um, in terms of how many runs you can have, this is very important because this is how many, this is going to put a bottleneck in terms of your infrastructure, right? So in the free tier, you can have one current run uh, of a workspace. In Teams, you can have two. And then at the business level and beyond, it's unlimited current runs for uh, how you would actually interact with um, Terraform. You know, this is going to be through the local CLI for the open source software. Uh, for these, it's cloud, meaning that um, it's cloud that is triggering the execution commands and then self-hosted, it's not in the cloud, it's on that private machine, okay? Uh, then we have support. So for support, it's all community. Um, so that's just going, reaching out to DAs. Maybe there's a Slack channel. I believe that they have a form. So they have um, like a, a form where you can ask questions. And then they have these layers like bronze, silver, and gold. I could not determine what these are, like what is offered in them. And the odd thing is, is that, you know, there's a silver and gold, but it's offered both at business and enterprise. So I don't know if like you can upgrade to from silver to gold. So it's optional or you always get silver and gold. Could not get clarification. I tried asking the sales team, no one would tell me. So I think you have to really be deep in that sales funnel to find out. Uh, in terms of pricing, it's zero to up to five users. So the thing is, and this is really confusing about um, Terraform Cloud, and they really shouldn't have called it Teams up here, but you can start using Terraform Cloud for free up to five users as a team, okay? So just negate the fact that it's not called Teams. What they're saying is that Teams is really about getting um, uh, base, uh, workspace remote management, which is actually R RBA, like um, RABC controls, uh, role-based access controls. So that's the whole point of using Teams. So if you need that, and that's when you're at five, that's when you use it. But you can use it in the free tier as a team, and you it absolutely should. Once you get to the Teams plan, it's going to be $20 a month. And then if you need Teams and governance, it's actually like $7 a month. So again, it's kind of like a bit misleading how they've labeled this out. But if you go and open up Teams Cloud, you can see what the actual packages are. For uh, business, self-hosted, your contact and sales. So I have no idea what the cost is there. So there you go.